Hi everyone and welcome back to Black and Ginger. As you all know, my name is Salman and today I'm going to be showing you guys five facts that you didn't know about Serbia before now. Before I came to Serbia, I had no idea about Serbia. Like I knew nothing about Serbia. The only thing I knew about Serbia was that they played in the World Cup at Serbia and Montenegro. And today, Montenegro is an independent country on its own. I knew nothing about Serbia and that is the case with most of the people who come here to Serbia. A lot of people know nothing about Serbia. So I went to the uh, city library in Zrenin and I did some researches and I found out some facts I'm going to show you guys today. So if you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, leave a comment and also subscribe to our channel so you don't miss other interesting videos coming in the future. So let's get started. Number one, today in the world of watches, when you think about the best wristwatches or the oldest wristwatches, the first thing that comes to your head is a Swiss wristwatch. Swiss wristwatches aren't in fact the oldest wristwatches in the world. Yes, they make one of the best wristwatches, but they're not the oldest in the world. The Serbian clock industry is one of the oldest in the world. As a matter of fact, the Serbian clock industry dates 600 years earlier than the Swiss. That means Serbians were already making clocks and wristwatches 600 years before the Swiss started. So it's okay to give respect to whom respect is due. You have to always respect your elders, those who started before you those who were in the game before you, and that is Serbia. Number two, the word which is used to describe human beings who survive on human blood or animal blood and cannot be seen under the sun. What can I help you with, Lord of Darkness? I want to go on a date. Too many eyes, too few eyes, not into tentacles. Vampires is actually a Serbian word, and it's the only generally accepted Serbian word in the whole world. So the word you know as vampire today is a Serbian word. Now you know, Serbia is also home to the, uh, one of the most famous summer festivals, which is the Exit Festival. I don't know if you ever heard of it, but come on, how can you not have heard of it? The Exit Festival comes on in the summer of July, every year in Novi Sad, Serbia. It's the biggest thing. It's the biggest thing you can go in the summer. Trust me on that one. Number three, the Serbian language. Turkish people were in Serbia for a very, very, very long time. So uh, Serbia was part of the old Ottoman Turkish Empire. And Serbian, the Serbian language was one of the four official languages of the Ottoman Empire. Most of the Ottoman uh, Turkish generals at that time were Serbians. Even uh, the Austrian Empire also had a lot of Serbian generals. And during the battles in the war, you find two different sides with two Serbian generals, you know. <laughs> and number two, I'm sure you didn't know about this, but Serbia is the largest exporter of raspberry in the world. Almost 95% of the raspberry we have in the world is supplied by Serbia. Serbia is a very, very, very agricultural country. Uh, north of Serbia, which is uh, Vojvodina, is very, very known for its uh, fertility. I mean, anything you plant in Vojvodina is going to grow. They have apples, they have plums. Very soon, Serbia is going to be the largest exporter of plum and apples and pears on the whole of Europe. And the last but not the least, I think I like to say I save best for the last, and that is hospitability. Statistically, Serbia has been proven to be the most hospitable country or destination in the world. And this is not just this is not just statistics talking. I mean, I've been living in Serbia for eight months and believe me, it's the best country I ever visited. The people are so welcoming, so hospitable. Everyone's always trying to make you feel comfortable. They really appreciate foreigners, they appreciate people visit in their country you know they're very nice people here believe me the old slavic uh, belief that uh, a host who doesn't really take care of his uh, guest wouldn't receive any favors from the gods and it's, it's very very nice that the serbian people still hold on to their culture like they still hold on to their beliefs and values like they don't let it go that's very very nice of them and believe me man i can't overemphasize how nice serbians are it's not something that i can say it's not something that you want to hear it's something that you want to experience you know so when next you're thinking about the destination to visit in in Europe, you should think about and consider Serbia because it's a uh, it's one of the very very old empires and countries that still exist, and uh, it has good history and, and culture. You know, the food is great, the people are nice, things are not expensive. It's very cheap here. The cost of living is not that much here, so I, I I don't see any reason why Serbia shouldn't be among your top destinations to visit in this summer. Yeah, 
we've come to the end of today's video if i said anything that's incorrect or inconsistent or outdated please let me know in the comment and so other people can learn also you know we always appreciate comments i want to take this medium out to say thank you to 5,000 followers who followed us on instagram i mean it's it's really amazing we really appreciate the support that you guys showed to leon and i we just want to say thank you thank you thank you very much and if you're not following us yet you can follow us on instagram at black and ginger underscore it's gonna be right there i guess it doesn't matter it's gonna be on the screen so just just follow you know if you enjoyed the video please leave a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe and also leave a comment see you guys next time ciao Priyatno, virginia